G'day subscribers, Jesse here. Been a long time since I've actually uploaded a video to YouTube for a fire alarm test and we've moved into a new home, well, about seven years ago. So it's been about seven years since I've done one of these. Here I've got my Sigma 5 fire alarm panel by Vigilant. Okay, so you've got zone A right through to zone D. So you've got your front of house right through to zone A at the back of house. Also got um, smoke detectors up, up in the roof above these areas. So there's five smoke detectors in the line up in the roof above the, this one whole area here, which I've called zone D, roof space over A, B and C. Uh, the reason for that is just in case you get a roof fire, you know, quite common electrical fires, chimney fires, anything like that. You don't know about it, it's happening up there while you're asleep. Before you know it, the, you know, there's quite a substantial fire before you're alerted to it if you don't have it. Also, over here, that was my, I was going to have zone E, which is my garage, which was going to be here. But ended up putting up a, putting in a separate system in there. Okay, so I've got a six bedroom house, so obviously in um, every bedroom we've got um, smoke detectors, Vitronic there, Vitronic optical or um, yeah, the optical detector photoelectric whatever you want to call it with the 100 volt line speakers throughout the house one on every bedroom no labeling on them see there's no some places you actually see the fire alarm written on there the reason you don't need that in this occasion is because um, it's got a voiceover which tells you the fire alarm's operated and to evacuate the building so you know it's a fire alarm uh, in the bathroom here, people will ask why would you have a um, heat detector in your bathroom? That there, a wee silver bio metallic disc on there up there. Wow, look at that. Bathroom heaters, really common source of bathroom fires. Um, get a lot of dust build up, people don't clean them. Next thing you know, you get a fire or a thermostat fails, something like that. So, coming through here, laundry here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I've just done a previous video but mucked it up, so I'll just re recording it. Um, you've got your snap blades core point here, you know, you just push the plastic in, it falls down, and you press your button there. Okay, you've got two in this really small laundry, it's only a 1.5 by 1.5 sort of size laundry, but I've got this 350ml um, beam that comes down here, so you're going to have quite a lot of heat building up in that area there. If this thing here craps itself before the heat gets into here to act like that so i'll put one in there as well and because you've got a washing machine there another type of thing that is a fire source so some people say maybe a bit of an overkill but hey okay outside here because it's coming through here I've got an external warning up here just up there with the strobe light just so that can alert neighbors if you're not home and the house is all closed up during the day then you get a fire alarm activation through to the hallway. Got three down the hallway, along with emergency light for light for power failures. Okay, another bedroom and another sound and another smoke detector. Same for all the bedrooms. Um, and people ask, why do you have sounders and smoke alarms in every bedroom? Well, simple question or simple answer actually is. That happens a lot at night in houses. People shut their bedroom doors. So inside there now you've got a really, really, really good fire cell. Um, common thing people do, especially teenagers at night. Put the old cell phone under the pillow, plugging it into the wall socket. Well, that there you can get your build, heat up, build up of heat. Starts smouldering under the pillow. A lot of smoke builds up in this room. Before you know it, your kids died of asphyxiation before anyone's even aware of any type of fire source. Well, having a smoke alarm and a sound in a room, perfect way to detect that really early on and be able to do something about it, save a life, save your house. And having the sounder in there, well, if that's shut, the sounder's out here. Very hard to hear at night when you're in a deep sleep behind a closed door. So, simply putting a sounder in there and a smoke detector saves that right through into there for the security monitor okay now before we go any further um 
Just going to point out another thing as well. This, although this here is a fully hardwired fire protection system or fire alarm system, most people obviously don't have this in their home, in the standard home. So, and here, so I just let's quickly go that one. Yeah, kitchen one, 57 degree heat detector. Of course, you don't want smoke detectors in your kitchen. So, those people that have got the normal 9 volt or long life smoke detectors, you know, you buy them from Home Depot if you're in the States or we're us in New Zealand, Bunnings or Mitre 10, or the warehouse, about 10 bucks each. So, why wouldn't you put one in every room? Okay, over here, another snap blaze core point. And that one here, if you can just see, it's got the old 700 series uh, PDL switch in there, one before the press switch came out. So, we'll just go through and give it an activate. So, yeah, I do advocate for normal, normal those, those normal smoke detectors as well. Uh, being a fireman, absolutely advocate for it. Smoke alarms, wherever you can, wherever practicable. Audio, we'll just give it a quick trolley back. Before I do that, I'll just quickly deactivate the 24 hours on the Ruger alarm because it's connected to that. So on here, zone 7 is um, my fire zone, so it will um, ring my cell phone and let me know that the fire alarm's gone off and out. Uh, Activates the outside soil on the burger alarm differently to the house alarm. When the house alarm goes off, it sort of makes a <laughs> noise. And if the fire alarm, this thing here, trips the burger alarm, then the outside also goes on the outside siren box. Not the little siren I showed you before. So we'll give that a quick go. Second, you'll hear the voice come on. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. So as you can hear, it just tells you to evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. There is two other sounds on there. One is like a emergency, emergency, evacuate the building, evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. And there's another one also which is like. Followed by warning, the fire alarm system has operated. Stand by for further instructions. And there is also another voice as well, which uh, I think it says, the fire alarm system has operated. Evacuate as directed. Evacuate as directed. Or something similar. Anyway, in a wrap, that's it. Thanks for watching. Been a while and hope to upload another video soon. Thanks very much and have a good one.